funny, bro. morning everyone welcome back to my channel we are on the way to church today i am running like five minutes behind i'm probably gonna miss the first song it's super sunny Maryland weather has been really weird though but we're grateful and we're thankful and we're on the way to church so i'll just see you guys when i'm out because i'm about to turn the light bye y'all love you clap my hands run and do my dance church i'm waiting for my parents to get back from church because i want to go to the art museum today and i'm trying to see if they want to go with me or not i'm gonna hurry up and make a lunch and eat so that if they do come in there ready then we can head out to the art museum there's this new hip-hop exhibit happening at the bma so i really want to go check it out so if they want to come with me cool if not then i'll just end up going by myself but i need to eat because whenever i come from church i'm always starving so i'm about to make a tuna sandwich this is the bacon. I need a fridge is in a weird place. My dad is fixing it, so like y'all were wondering why it's like sticking out. That's why. And it's crazy because I've been calling her. Excuse me, Luna. I've been calling her since I got home and she has wanted nothing to do with me. All of a sudden I open the tuna. So cat got some tuna. This was really good today. I tried to record as best as I could for y'all, but obviously when you're in the middle of worship, you're not too much worried about recording. So I tried to pull out my phone, but I just got what I could. The title of today's message was What God Sees Doesn't Matter. And the pastor was already like, y'all, this is gonna be a controversial title because if you hear what God sees doesn't matter, you're like, what God sees doesn't matter. But the way that he explained it was basically like, if God sees this amazing, this beautiful, this say for me, woman of God, right? And you don't see that you're gorgeous, amazing. You don't see that you're a child of God. It doesn't matter if he sees you that way because you don't even see yourself that way. So you can't accept it. So that's basically what he was talking about. I gotta put obey on your tune. Not on there. Like I sprinkle that bad boy down because I like it. It tastes good and obey is like that girl and plus i'm from maryland so like maryland girl without old bay who would i be so yeah y'all bless me <laughs> why did i say bless me so yeah y'all i'm about to just eat this tuna with some crackers and then i'll catch up with you guys when i'm all changed and ready to go to the museum You know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they were buy. Whoa, she love me so much, it seemed like she buys. Hey y'all, so I'm out of the museum now. It was such a good exhibit. I don't even know if I got enough like footage in there or whatever. Because there's like, a lot of stuff to look at. So I was just like more focused on taking it in. But I'm in the sculpture garden now. I get some pictures here or just look around and enjoy the nature because it's so nice today. It's not too hot. It's like perfect temperature. So yeah, I wanted to update you guys, but it's been really good so far. Oh, y'all can't see me. Okay, y'all. I'm back in the core. It was a good, good time. 
it was actually more packed in there than I expected to be. It'd be packed because culture event that y'all saw, like that's a separate side of the museum and it's ticketed. So it's only free for select days. So today was one of the days it was free. So I knew it would be packed, but didn't think it would be that packed. But y'all really want some ice cream. So I'm thinking I might go get some ice cream. I was trying to get some pictures for Instagram because I haven't posted on Instagram in like ages. But I didn't get too many, so I think I'm just gonna do like an April dump or something at the end of the month. Cause I don't know if I like these pictures too much. Been a good day so far. A hot Sunday, but it feels oh so good. All right guys, so I got a custard, which is the best flavor in my opinion, with marshmallow on top. And if you've never gotten a snowball with marshmallow, you're missing out. I like the best um topping. On my team. I told my parents, but they didn't want one. So y'all see, I was trying to be nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat it here because it melts so fast that I don't wanna like miss out on the flavor. I'm sorry, but the marshmallow's hidden. Yummy. Okay guys, hey y'all, so I've had my bonnet on for pretty much most of the day. So I'm just gonna keep it on for consistency or whatever. Back for the museum for quite some time now. I ate dinner and I have clothes in the wash. Once they get out the dryer, I'm gonna put all of my clothes away and we're gonna watch this Love is Blind reunion. Yeah, we're gonna watch the Love is Blind reunion and we're gonna have some talk about it because y'all this season, if you haven't watched Love is Blind, what are you doing? I didn't watch the last season because I wasn't into it, but it's like this season has been everywhere. Like if you're not watching it, you need to watch it. But yeah, Love is Blind is such a good show on Netflix and the live reunion. The reunion's gonna be live. The reunion is going to be live at 8 p.m. and 7.30 right now, so we got some time. But I wanted to give a quick rundown of my opinions of everyone before I watch the reunion because while I watch I'm going to be putting clothes away and I'll have more opinions after it's done. But in order from my greatest opinion to my least opinion, greatest opinion, Brett and Tiffany are amazing. I am all in favor of them and honestly if they did not say yes to each other I would have been very, very pressed. This and Zach, I was on the fence about them at first. And then I ended up really liking them together towards the end, towards the last few episodes. Chelsea and Kwame, I was also on the fence about, like, it seemed that Kwame was not interested in Chelsea. But maybe it's just the way he was presented on TV. But they seem to actually be really happy. So rooting for them. Who else? Micah and Paul was never rooting for them. Never thought that they would be a successful match. And I don't know why they just proceeded to choose each other time and time again. Terrible match. And that's okay. Everybody's not a match. Who else was on there? Irina? No, she didn't get nobody. Did I get everybody? I think I got all four people. Brett and Tiff. Bliss and Zach. Irina and Paul. I mean, Micah and Paul. And... Chelsea and Kwame I think those were just the only four people so I'm excited to see the reunion people that didn't make it to the wedding part though Jackie Marshall Josh Irina opinion of Irina I don't really have much of an opinion of her I know everybody thinks she's a mean girl but um I just wasn't focused on her too much through the season so I guess I just didn't worry about that and then Marshall though y'all I love Marshall because he's also from Baltimore and so I instantly was like okay we're gonna click I'm gonna like him in this show. Love Marshall. Marshall's an absolute sweetheart and deserves the world. He did not deserve Jackie on that show. He deserves somebody better. But they had posted like somewhere that he has a girlfriend who's a nurse and all this. So apparently he's doing well for himself. Josh and Jackie. I was watching a Love is Blind like post recap and apparently Jackie and Josh are together. Which I thought was so weird because Jackie needs to heal and Josh needs some therapy as well like he doesn't seem all the way there so I just don't understand how but then again when two people aren't healed and they come together they think that they can heal each other and that's just not the case so 
I'm interested to see how this will play out. I'm interested to see if Jackie will even be at the reunion because I know that she's going to get hit with a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. So I'm wondering if she will even be there. But it's at 8 p.m. tonight and it's 7.32. So I'm going to go get my clothes. Well, hold on one second. 17 minutes left on my timer for my clothes. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for those to be finished. Catch up on the rest of my schoolwork. Make sure I have everything submitted for tomorrow. And then I will... I will definitely, definitely be watching this reunion. 8 p.m. sharp. I'll be watching it while I put my clothes away. It'll be a great way to get me to put these clothes away. Clean up the rest of my room. And yeah, we're going to discuss some things after. See y'all soon. I don't think they should have been the host. Hopefully they're not the host because they didn't do the best. But we'll see. Oh. Not partner in charge. Well, Y'all, so everybody's on Instagram saying that it's not working. So that's stupid. I wanted to watch it live, but it's not working. And everybody's saying it's not working. Which is stupid because why would y'all do a live event? Just post it. Like, I don't know what they were thinking trying to make a live event. And it's not even working. Everybody's saying that it's not working. We need to put a close away because it's not working. <laughs> Look, y'all, so they post, they talking about, they tweeted talking about love is late. It'll be on in 15 minutes. So I've been watching Shira 7. Um, If you know, you know. And yeah, these are the clothes I have to put away. So. Oh, he glad that we've grown so much together. And my dad was watching it, but I'm he sorry, went I'll somewhere else. Go get the best of me in that moment. I'll, I'll never do that again. Uh -huh. You know. Um, and then the second layer is I need to say sorry to Chelsea's family. Okay, so it's not so an accurate Sure, so thank you. I will really check the out of the Good. I was about to say good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Just wanted to come on and close the vlog. I left it on like a cliffhanger or whatever. So I finished the Love Is Blind reunion last night, and like I said, I will give y'all my thoughts. But there aren't many thoughts to give. Quite frankly, I thought it was a little... I don't even want to say it was boring, but I feel like they weren't... Like I told y'all, they're not the best hosts. I feel like Nick and Vanessa didn't ask the questions that we really wanted to hear. And I was really curious as to why Jackie and Josh weren't present at the physical reunion, but they did a video. Like, I just felt like they should have been at the reunion to answer the questions that everybody wanted to hear. So my thoughts on it were that it could have been way, way better than it was. And I'm not the only one that feels that way. Apparently everybody was saying it was boring. <laughs> so yeah, those are my thoughts. We went through all of that live streaming technical error, which we should have known that Netflix would have a technical error um, trying to do a live stream for the first time with all these people. But anyway, that's those were my thoughts. I have nothing else to do for this vlog. Today I'm pretty much just hanging, hanging, finishing up some homework that I had, um, and just getting myself prepared for the rest of this week. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. Comment below if you have any vlog ideas because I'm just trying to film authentic content that's fun for me but that's enjoyable for y'all too. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the video. So thank you again for like all of your support and everything. I appreciate y'all so, so much, and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace out. Bye!